quickly, uh, after the poems and very interesting talks, I'm the guy that gets to talk to you about monetary disequilibrium. <laughs> so spare me a thought. Long story short, the past 30 years have seen the development of the first truly global economy, where nations are integrated by trade, they're integrated in finance, and they're integrated in production, along production chains. Paradoxically, over that same, same period, we've seen the development of a monetary system that is in effect still based on the currency of a single nation state, namely the US dollar. That, to my mind, is a, the fundamental money problem that we face today. And it's a problem because agents across this integrated economy want to hold large shares of their wealth in the form of dollars or dollar-denominated assets. This imposes some very high costs on other countries, particularly developing countries, perhaps as much as 1% of their GDP per year. It also creates some very important imbalances in the US economy. It's out of this wish to hold a lot of dollars that we get the consistently high trade deficits in the United States, ultimately the very significantly heightened scopes for financial profits and not industrial profits uh, in the US economy, um, as well as the process of deindustrialization that we have experienced over the past uh, 30 years. Um, Together with this, of course, we've seen a very important shift in the composition of the U.S. economy, of aggregate demand in the U.S. economy, away from investment towards consumption, something that I have shown to have been pretty uh, bad in terms of distribution for wage earners. So out of this basic monetary problem uh, that gets posed by an international economy that still has a monetary system that's founded on a national currency, um, we can conceptualize and understand a lot of the imbalances that plague a lot of the economies uh, in the world today. Um, the interesting thing for me in this is that monetary theory such as it exists right now cannot account for this development, and some of us are working precisely on that in attempting to reapproach contemporary monetary forms to understand why it is that the international, international monetary uh, system cannot give us a more equitable and, and stable um, monetary form. Thank you.